Obviously, the latest with Marcus. He's out. Is it just a matter of tightness and not being able to do what he wants to do or too much pain? A little bit of both, swelling pain, uh, restricted movement. And so obviously the swelling and you got hit pretty hard. So uh, just some limited movement that didn't, uh, didn't get better uh, over the days like we thought it would. Is this something that could affect him going forward? I don't think it's long term. I mean, he's, he's got hit and missed some games in the past, but uh, with the three days off, we're assuming he'll be OK. What direction do you go in the lineup? Is it Derek White? Derek will start, yes. Thank you. You, know, you, you talked about getting Rob more involved, you know, wanting to see guys look for him more often. Is that something you have to kind of you know, call a play for, or is that something you're just kind of emphasizing the guys to look out for him more? Because he doesn't always seem to be a guy who commands the ball himself. Yeah, a little bit of both. I think we do run some sets to get him looks, but also uh, we miss several opportunities with lob threat. You know, he's hit obviously a lob threat. Lobs and drop-offs against their bigs contesting at the basket. So uh, it was kind of glaring when you went back and watched how many opportunities we had there. And obviously, that's a big part of what they do. And it will loosen them up a little bit as far as that. So uh, had a good film session, watched it with the players, and saw where their outlets are, which is a big theme in this series as rim reads. And that's finding our bigs underneath or kickouts for wide open shots. And missed him quite a few often, uh, quite a few times last game. We, we talk a lot about the bigger lineup that Milwaukee starts with, but they go smaller too pretty quickly. Oh. What are you looking for? You know, do you stay big against that sometimes? Do you chase them in the smaller lineups? How do you try to exploit them when they go a little smaller? We can do both. I mean, we've done it all year. It started with our bigger lineup and obviously come in pretty quickly with Grant. So you can counter that. But um, with you know another guard out tonight, uh, Marcus being out, you, it'd be harder to downsize than in the past if we wanted to. But uh, you know. We, we feel great with Jason or Jalen at the at the three four, but also can you know go with our bigger lineups and put Grant at the three, so we can kind of match up however we please with as far as that, and we've done that all year with bigger lineups. You talked about being actually kind of pleased with the half court defense last game with Marcus out. Where do guys need to pick up to kind of maintain that level that he brings typically? Yeah, group effort obviously, and and Derek will you know be a huge part of that. Peyton as well, um, but do what we did on that end. I think uh, we weren't even as sharp as we could have been, especially with some of the double teams and rotations behind it on Antetokounmpo in the post, uh, recognizing when he's being guarded by some of the guys we want on him and not helping off certain shooters for them. So to hold him to 101 uh, with the poor offense and, and turnovers that kind of feel their transition, we feel we could be a lot better. And, and so we were pleased with that, and especially in the half court is just what we did to aid them getting out in transition. Ime, with without Smart, do you decide to go and try to make up for the defensive loss, or you just say, you know what, we're going to deal with that defensively, and whoever gets that next opportunity, we're just going to go full shooting and try to just go full offense? That's the benefit of Derek. I think he does a lot of things well. Obviously, it's hard to make up for Marcus specifically with what he does for our team, but uh, the scheme and coverage doesn't change. It's just Derek is another big guard that that we don't lose a lot as far as size and versatility defensively. And then offensively, uh, he's very capable of you know, scoring, running the, running the plays, and getting guys involved. And so the beauty of having him is he checks a lot of those boxes. And uh, obviously Peyton, one of our toughest guys, but you have a size disadvantage there. So you lose a little bit as far as that, but not a lot of drop off with Derek in there, uh, other than the toughness that nobody really brings that Marcus has. <laughs> 